name is Ali Beg, and I'm the project manager for Awaz Community Radio in Southampton. We're based in uh, Cranberry Terrace in Third Age Centre building. It was a mistake uh, to start the radio station for me at the time, but it's worked so well. And what happened, I was already working in a different radio station, and I found that it was more about entertainment and nothing about social value. So I decided to confront the station manager at the time. It worked out that um, the, the ethos of the other radio station wasn't quite what we wanted, so we decided to start our own, and then here we are, five years later. My experience in the radio industry at, uh, before I started it was absolutely nothing. And since I've started it was, I've gone into a lot of different places, uh, across the country as well as across the city and it's given me uh, a lot of experience in the media industry. A regular day on the radio would mean coming in at 7 a.m. in the morning, uh, setting up for the first live broadcast and making sure that the overnight service has worked properly, and then uh, getting waiting for the presenters to come in and getting them onto their show, making sure they're comfortable in doing their uh, programs, and then the same process goes out throughout the day, for every program after that, every presenter after that, and also if there's any meetings during the day, I'll be holding the meetings and conferences during the day. The day ends uh, probably around about 9, 10 o'clock in the evening when I would have to do a shutdown and an overnight service. I think on a daily basis, working in the radio industry is pretty tough. It's not easy. What's the toughest bit is making sure that the output is right and making sure that the output is professional. Because if your audience is not happy, your work is not done. The industry pays a lot for this uh, particular role, and the industry pays a lot depending on which type of radio station that you're going to be on. Many radio stations offer a set uh, job security and pay scale, but other radio stations can offer you more. So it depends where you're going. But yes, long term there is a big uh, job security in this. If you're going commercial, then probably you want to be freelance because you get more work and it's, uh, it will take you places. And if you're one of those people who want to go places and learn more about different cultures, different parts of the industry and different types of radio stations, then probably you'd want to be freelance. What do I like about this job? Okay, uh, you get to meet a lot of people uh, you get to meet a lot of new faces and you get to learn a lot about different cultures, especially being a community radio station because it's a platform for many cultures. And so the advantage is that a lot of people get to know you very, very quickly. Uh, if you love the job, there is no disadvantages. And I love my job as it is. But there is the one disadvantage is that you do get people calling you from the other side of the world at three o'clock in the morning asking for uh, a song request. And you don't want to be woken up at three o'clock in the morning for that. It most definitely would have been beneficial if I had a degree in this career. Uh, if I had a degree in this subject, it would have taught me a lot of things that has otherwise taken me six years to learn. I would say that uh, make all the contacts uh, it's very important for you to make the contacts before you finish your degree. Mm -hmm. If you don't make the contacts beforehand, you're going to find it really difficult to make the contacts after. And get a lot of work experience as in your industry. If you get the work experience, it shows a lot to your contacts and also to a, any future career. Work experience is very important. A lot of the people that you will go on to work for are looking really for your work experience. And if they can have something to see, it makes all the difference. I think the fundamentals is that you would really want to be prepared to work hard. It's not something easy uh, and it's a fast moving thing so uh, if you are not got the ego, if you've not got the, um, the willpower to carry on and, and keep carrying on and you need that energy, uh, the energy boost has to come from you first. I think um, a successful radio producer is the ability to hold together a good team. And if you can hold together a good team, you'd make all the success. Hello. Hello, we're just finished my interview for the multimedia website. I want to thank Nadi for having me. No Thank you, Nadi. You're welcome.
Okay. See you soon. <laughs>